Today I'll be unboxing and sharing my first impressions of the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus. That's coming up next. The Bamboo Ink Plus is a pen that can be used to draw and annotate on a Windows 10 computer. It can be used on the Microsoft Surface Pro, the Surface Book, Surface Go, Surface Studio, and various other types of Windows 10 tablets. Now, if your tablet came with a pen, but the pen's not all that great, then you might enjoy using the Bamboo Ink Plus because it gives you that premium Wacom drawing experience. So let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at what's inside. Next, I'll unwrap the pen. It's covered in this plastic film here. And once you get the plastic off, it is a really nice looking pen. The Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus comes with a few accessories. There is a USB cable, which I'll unwrap. It's USB-A on one end, that plugs into your computer, and on the other end it's USB-C, and that plugs into the Wacom Bamboo Ink Pen. It also comes with a few replacement nibs. The nibs are the tip of your pen. They come in this little case. You can slide it open like so, and inside is a firm, a soft, and a blue nib. And there's a quick start guide and warranty information. Now let's take a look at the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus in more detail. It has a nice soft rubbery grip, and this rubbery grip is more rigid than the grip on the Wacom Pro Pen 2. It has a nice weight to it and a nice feel. It is a little bit heavier on the back end because of the battery. It's thin, kind of like an ink pen or pencil, but it also has a nice triangular shape to it so it doesn't slip out of your hands. There's a button on the eraser end you can use to pair this to your computer with Bluetooth and open Windows Ink apps. You can't use it as an eraser. The Bamboo Ink Plus supports pen pressure to change your line width or opacity. You can also tilt the pen to change the angle of your marks for devices that support pen tilt. Now in order to recharge this, it's actually fairly easy. You just open this little compartment on the side of the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus, and that's where you would plug in your USB-C cable. Now at this point I'm not 100% sure how long the battery will last on this, but for the previous generation it lasted about 2-5 to five months depending on the device you're using, and as I mentioned earlier you just plug it in via USB to charge it. There are two buttons on the side of the pen. You can use these to power on the pen and toggle between compatibility modes. You may also be able to use these for shortcuts depending on your device. If you want to swap out the nibs, you can use this little hole on the side of your nib case to pull the nib out. And you can swap it out with one of the other nibs to change the feel of the pen and make it softer or firmer. So my first impressions of the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus are that it's a nice feeling and looking pen. I'll have to try it on a tablet, but that's for a future video. In the meantime, check out some of my other reviews of Digital Art Tech. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon. That way you don't miss my new reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.